Hey guys, my name is Michael and I'm sure many of you noticed after upgrading to iOS 12 that on your iPad it can happen that you sometimes close an app or especially games accidentally when swiping around. Yeah? Since they introduced this new gesture that when you swipe up from the bottom to the, to the middle the app closes and so it happens a lot that accidentally you swipe around in a kind of exciting game or what, whatnot, and then you close the app and that's incredibly annoying. And on top of that, this bar, uh, this, this new home bar or whatever, um, is now visible all the time in, within many games on the new iPad Pros. So first of all, we would like to, to, to avoid to disable the function that it closes when you swipe up and we want to hide that bar. And the good news is that is possible and I'm going to show you how we're going to make that. So let's bring up a game, for example Infinity Plate in this case, because in this game you have a lot of swiping around, it can get very exciting in a fight, so imagine you swipe up here and you swipe again and it's closed. Yeah? Or what also can happen is that you, that you uh, Swipe up and you get the dog up, which you also don't want. Yeah? So lots of things can happen here, which you don't want. Ideally, when you swipe up, this should appear first, and only when you swipe over this, this happens only to iPads who still have a home button, by the way, that this should appear, and then only when you swipe over it, something happens, but it happens very easily when you have a game. So settings, general, accessibility, all the way down, guided access, switch that on, passcode settings, you set whatever you like, and that's it. And now, if you go again in the game, what we have to do is um, triple click the home button, one, two, three, and we get this window. These options are all default options, you don't have to change anything here, all you have to do is press start here. And now we have the guided access. Now nothing happens here. It's incredible. No dog, no going home. It's just amazing. I really love it. You can play without any problems. To switch it off, and just triple click again on the home button. One, two, three. And then enter your passcode. And select end. And that's it. Guided access ended. And now we get all the swiping. Then swiping again. So that's really cool. When you go now again in the game, you will see you don't have to go to the screen when you now enable it, one, two, three. It says access started without having to set up everything and it just works. Then like one, two, three again. And this brings you to this and, and that's it. Isn't this amazing? And now I will also show you how it would look on the new iPad Pro. Yeah. On the new iPad Pro, I like this feature even more because, you know, when you're in a game, you have this bar always there. Yeah? It never really disappears. And of course, when you slide two times, the app closes. So you slide halfway, you get that. You don't want this, especially in this kind of game here. Yeah? And the bar is always there. And um, on top of that, for example, in Insight, this is a very atmospheric, you know, game and it really like it's not good for the ambience to and for the I don't know, it's just annoying to have this bar down there to see it all the time. It's a bit distractive, I find. And of course, the same happens here. When you swipe up, the game closes. So on the iPad Pros, they don't have a home button, so you triple click the power button. Um, let's try it with inside. So one, two, three. And we get this, so we just press start and they got access on and then no bar, nothing. It's amazing. That's really cool, especially for the iPad Pro, just to get rid of the bar, not see it anymore, play how the game should look like. And then triple click home button, one, two, three, passcode, and, and, and it's off again. That's how it works on the iPad Pro. Alright, that's it. Hope you enjoyed my video and it helped you and have a good day. Bye-bye.